What's up guys, Coach Nate here from The Run Experience. I, uh, I kind of feel like working out today. I feel like getting into the gym and building myself up a little bit so I know that if I'm a little bit more stronger, more durable, I've got a little bit greater range of motion and control, that's gonna translate to being a stronger, more durable, efficient runner. So we wanna spend that time. We do a lot of body weight stuff here, but we want to pull some equipment out because that external load reaps a lot of rewards. For today's video, all you need is a jump rope, a kettlebell, and a pair of dumbbells. And if you don't have or you're missing one of those things, I will show you how to modify as we go. We're gonna get started with a four minute warm up with a little bit of jump rope involved in there. We're then gonna move to a 12 minute main set where we're gonna alternate every minute on the minute between three exercises. Our first exercise is gonna be a dumbbell push press. Our second exercise um, is going to be a front rack lunge, holding these dumbbells. We can modify that with a goblet style lunge as well. And then our third exercise is going to be a kettlebell swing. And if we don't have kettlebell and we don't feel comfortable swinging, we can substitute that for squat jumps. Let's get into that four minute warm up. Quick addendum, your workout is not over until you get that mobility work, so make sure you save four minutes at the end of this for a nice mobility focused cool down too. Now, let's get into the warm up. So let's get started with a four minute uh, warm up. The first two minutes is going to be jump roping, starting in about five seconds here. If you don't have a jump rope, you can jog in place or get on a treadmill or a rower. Here we go. Now, I love jump rope because it's just a nice way to practice some of our running positions where I'm aligned. I'm figuring out how to get those rope underneath my feet. And you'll see here as I jump rope, my elbows are tucked in by my side, my knees are soft, my shoulders relaxed, and I'm trying to let my heels kiss the ground every single time I land. You notice I could jump on my toes the whole time, but that's a pretty expensive way to jump and I'll notice that I'm having to breathe a little harder and that's the next thing is <sighs> take some nice deep breaths as I go. So for this first minute, we're just gonna try to practice this. And if you need to get that little extra double jump in, you can do that too as a nice way to keep things focused. <sighs> now, for this next minute, we're going to practice alternating our feet a little bit. Can I practice jumping one or two times on each foot? And I love this as a supplemental drill to strengthen my feet, my calves, my Achilles. So you can tell I'm a little rusty. Keeping my hands in by my side. And then I could get like a little boxer style skip here. Another 30 seconds. Working my way through. If I really want to get real fancy, try some crossovers. Just for fun, give yourself a big hug each time. And whew, back to regular running. There we go. Eight more seconds. Get you warmed up real quick. Nice, so we're gonna put our jump rope down to the side. We're gonna pull one knee up to our chest. Just gonna warm this ankle up with a few circles one way, a few circles the other way. Then we're gonna extend this leg. We're gonna get a couple leg swings. If you need a break, you need to stop and rewatch something, you can always pause this video and go right back to it. But I'm gonna get five to 10 leg swings. Good. This leg's gonna swing back into a reverse lunge. And this is gonna be important for the lunges we're gonna do a little bit later today. We are gonna step back. I'm gonna kick up again, three times. Last one, good. Through here, and then I'm just gonna stand up tall. Do the same thing on the other side. Post up here. And as I post up, I'm just warming up that balance of that right ankle. It's having to stabilize a little bit. Three circles each way. I'm gonna extend this leg, I'm gonna get some leg swings. Abs are on, kicking this leg back behind me. Good. Getting about five to 10 of these. Just warming ourselves up here with those legs. Then kicking up, 
Swinging back in that reverse lunge, drop down, kick up. Notice as I step back, I'm stepping back far enough so this front shin's nice and vertical. Key thing, I'm making sure that I'm not stepping too shallow, letting this knee go way forward. And once I have those three, I'm gonna take the final 30 seconds, walk out into a plank, squeeze that belly and butt, hold this position, push back into a down dog, pedal out those feet. If I'm gonna come forward, do a push up, push back, come forward again. If I need to, I can press up from my knees and come back here. We're just gonna do a couple more just to take it all the way to the end of the two minutes. Five seconds. Beautiful. Now let's get ourselves ready for our main set. Every minute on the minute for 12 minutes, we're gonna alternate through three exercises, which means that you're gonna see each of these three exercises four times. My goal is to work for about half of the minute, plus or minus 30 seconds, giving me some recovery in between. If you're newer, do fewer number of reps. If you're feeling more experienced or the weight's a little bit on the lighter side, you can do higher reps too. To get things started off with the push presses, I'm gonna shoot for uh, you know like eight to 10 reps for this thing. So I'm gonna get my cl uh, clock started. 10 second countdown, go. And with my push presses, I'm gonna get these up on my shoulders. So my elbows are here and I'm going to squeeze that belly and butt to start. I'm gonna dip my knees forward and out and drive this up overhead, squeezing that belly and butt tight. Big stability with my abs, making sure I'm not arched overhead. Five, six, showing you straight on. Eight. You can see that I'm really using my hips to drive this weight up. Nice work. So, I have about 30 seconds rest. Shake out the shoulders till I get to the lunges. <sighs> Breathing my way through. Now with the lunges, I wanna shoot for at least 10 total, five per leg. I might go upwards of 16. We'll see what happens in about 10 seconds. And again, I'm gonna try to hold these dumbbells in the same place up here. If this feels a little bit too much, I can hold goblet squal, which means I'm gonna hold one dumbbell between my arms. So, from here, get these up here. And I'm just gonna step back, forward, squeeze that butt tight on top. Notice I'm seeing that a lot. Two, stepping back far enough so that my front shin doesn't really bend forward. Breathing my way through. Being nice and tall, notice that my elbows wanna drop, so I wanna keep those elbows up and in to help myself out. Eight, nine, and 10, okay. 10 is, we'll say that's good for me right now, right? We got a couple more rounds of this as we go through. And then I'm gonna breathe, collect myself and get ready for my kettlebell swings. Now, if you don't have a, a kettlebell, don't feel comfortable with this, you could swing a dumbbell, or you could just do some squat jumps instead as a way to substitute this movement. Kettlebells I wanna do a little bit more. I'm gonna shoot for 10 or 15 to 20. So grab this here and I could start with lower swings, really hinging at the hip, driving those kettlebell up a little bit higher. Squeezing that belly butt tight on top. Making sure I'm not arching. Couple more. 18, two more. 19. And 20. Nice work. So, breathing a little bit higher on that one. Really making sure I'm hinging, not letting my knees bend too much. Abs are on so I protect my low back. Back to push presses in about 10 seconds. You can see not a lot of rest here. This is kind of a dense workout, but kind of fun to do when you don't have a lot of time. Put these up here. Here we go, 10 again. Keeping these elbows forward all the time. Notice that I'm keeping these dumbbells north-south as well. That's just a better shoulder position. Two more. Last one, 10. 
Now, as runners, we don't necessarily have super strong upper bodies, but just going in this position is so important because it forces us to be a little bit more open through our thoracic spine and have a little bit greater range of motion to our shoulder. If we're super stiff here, this is really hard and that might be you a little bit. So take your time with this, warm up with the PVC pipe a little bit as you get moving. Okay, 10 seconds to my lunges. Oh man, only in round two, here we go. Now if I really needed a break, I could hold these dumbbells down here, but I'm gonna try to stick with this. And alternating feet, stepping back nice and wide. Good, showing you facing forward. Elbows up and in. Six, seven, eight. Trying to breathe. Nine, 10. I'm gonna do two more. And 12. There we go. Maybe I'll build up in my lunges as I go. Put those guys down. Shake it out a little bit. And again, if I don't have push presses, I could substitute with push-ups for today, as this is another way to do this. But it's so valuable to get overhead with those push presses too. So here we go. Back to our kettlebell. Now, another set of 20. Now, good way to challenge yourself with the kettlebell, if I have only one weight, is that I can start to swing this a little bit higher overhead. If I start to swing a little bit higher, I have to work a little bit harder with those hips. My shoulders have to pull back a little bit more. Okay, halfway. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more. Here we go. I love this work because when I start to fatigue and suffer a little bit, it's when my mechanics suffer too. So how can I stay focused and keep everything together all the way? All right, here we go. Third round of push presses, guys. One, two, knees forward and out. Three, big powerful abs, four. Come on, five, six, keep breathing. Good job. Put those down. We're gonna pick them back up again in a second. Now I've chosen 30 pounds. That's a good medium weight for me. If it's too light, I don't really feel the drive from my hips. And if it's a weight that you could just press overhead, you know, challenge yourself with a set of pound or dumbbells that are five or 10 pounds heavier. They're stronger than you think. <sighs> Breathing a little bit. Notice I'm saying breathing a lot is a way to stay focused in this whole thing. And we're back to our lunges. Okay, here we go. Dumbbells up here, stepping back, up tall, really driving through the hamstrings and glutes. Being really consistent all the way through. Nine, 10, two more, here we go. 11, 12. Okay, this is where we make our money, guys. This is when we start to get fatigued in the third round. It's like those later miles of the race. We're not at the home front yet. We can't smell the finish line, but this is where that focus really, really makes a difference. There we go. So the kettlebell swings. Here we go, five seconds. Make sure that kettlebell is right underneath you. And you pick that up with a nice flat back all the way through. Here we go. One, all the way up to 20, two, three, four, five, here we go. Six, stand, cats, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway. 
30, 40, 50, 60, three more, 90, 20, okay, so breathe a little harder, a few deep breaths, compose yourselves, we got one more round of everything, guys, I know we can do one round of anything. Gather ourselves. Right back to our push presses. Here we go. Let's get 10. One, three. Abs are on. Butt squeeze tight on top. Biceps up in your ears. Come on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me two bonus ones. Eleven, twelve. There we go. Keep wanting to put those dumbbells away. I keep forgetting I need them for my lunges. The next set. One more set of lunges, guys. Again, this is where we become strong, durable runners. How we react to this when we start to suffer is how we react to we suffer out there. And I always joke, but if you're someone who never likes to race photos, Right? You always look a little hunched over. This is a good way to fix it. Here we go. Last set of lunges. Last set of lunges you'll ever do in your life, right? That's a little joke. Five, six. Here we go. Halfway through. Seven, eight. Keep those elbows up and in. Nine, ten. Two more. Eleven. Last one. And 12. Whew. Okay. Kettlebell sway. Last set of kettlebell swings, guys. I'll be happy to finish these. This, by the way, is 24 kilos. It's about 52, 53 pounds. I think that's right. If I'm doing my things correctly. 10 seconds until we started. Last set of best kettlebell swings. Can our last kettlebell swing look as beautiful as the first one? Here we go. One. Three. If you feel like you're losing it, go for a lower swing. Five. Six. Seven. Don't let those knees bend too much forward. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Halfway. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, good job guys, come on. 15, 16, 17, 18, two more. 19, last one, 20, and whew, done. Internet air high five, boom. Whew. That was a good one. All right guys, now we got four minutes of well-earned mobility and cool down. Good job, I'll see you in there. All right guys, good job. We're gonna cool things down with a little bit of mobility, a little soft tissue work on our quads, but we're gonna use our kettlebell instead of a foam roller. Now this is gonna be kind of mean, especially the one you started, but we're gonna start with our four minute clock. Let's get going in about 10 minutes. We're gonna do two minutes per side. Um, this is nice and comfortable to lean up against a wall or a box. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this sucker and I'm gonna pick this up on my quad, and I'm just gonna spend a minute moving around here. And I like this because when I'm flipped over my stomach, if you don't have this, you guys can do this with a foam roller as well. It's a great way to uh, attack your quads. And a lot of times when we're doing work on ourselves, we're also like straining because we're applying pressure, whether we're holding ourselves up off the ground or we're trying to actively push in. and it's it's really hard to exert and relax in different areas of the body. So what I find what's nice about this is that the kettlebell is really doing the work and I can relax into it a little bit more. And notice that I'm starting a little bit further up the hip and then I'm working my way a little bit into the middle of the quad here. Good. So we're almost done with this first minute. Notice that I'm just shifting this to the side. I could bring this up onto the edge if I found a real tight spot. 
And then this next one, I'm gonna curl this leg over and I'm gonna work on the inner part of my quad. Now this gets real nasty. So again, just same thing a minute. Can I work on that inner groin and adductor? If you're someone who, you know, deals with any hip instability issues, like I have a history, what happens is that the adductors are doing a lot of overtime work to uh, make up for the lack of work the glutes are doing. So these guys get super knotted up. So it's really important to release these guys a little bit as well. Again, a little bit more, 20 seconds here, trying to find those tight areas. Rotate around, breathe. Nice deep breaths. Notice that my breathing shifts depending on what I'm doing. Right now I'm trying to do deeper, more relaxed breaths. Okay, let's go switch to the other leg. Oh, just to show you another angle, we're gonna go here, right up on the beefy part of the quad, sliding this around back and forth. And then notice in the workout, I was breathing, but the breathing pattern was different. I was um, taking shorter, faster sips, but I was trying to be smooth and I had to keep on. I had to be a little stable, which is a challenge when we're running faster. We need to stay engaged, but we also need to, to breathe. Working my way down the quad, finding those tight spots. Yeah, four minutes is a while, right? It's not something you can just kind of choke out of, or jump out of real quick. Getting all the way through. Working away again. Oh, there, it's a nice tight spot for me, right above that knee. And this guy's heavy enough that I don't want to roll it around, but I could roll it onto the edge if I wanted to. And then finally, last minute, I'm gonna to shift towards my side, get on the inside part of this quad and just whoo, move this guy around. So a nice full body workout today. We got a nice warm up practicing our jump rope. We got to practice um, some different things with a pair of dumbbells and kettlebells, different shapes. That lunge is great for balance and stability, getting our rear leg into extension so we can be strong and powerful off the ground. Uh, those push presses really challenge our overhead range of motion. I bet a lot of you guys are gonna struggle with that one the most. So if you need to slow it down and do strict presses, or you can bring it all the way down to just a push up. And then I love the kettlebell swings. They're so good for developing power in the hip and uh, they add that just aerobic flavor to it as well. 10 more seconds. Good. So guys, that was super fun working out with you. Even though I'm only here staring at the lens, I can, I can feel you guys on the other side. So you gave me a little bit of energy as well. If you wanna keep this party going and do some more workouts, we got tons on our channel, guys. I made another gym training for uh, runners workout that's right over my shoulder. Go check that one out, log it for another day. Strong runners are fast runners. I'll see you guys in the next one.